Sunday, day, Igbowi is trying to reap where he did not sow. Gani Adam blows up. <laughs> you can imagine this. They say a man's enemy is a is member of his household. You will all understand. Please don't forget to give us thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you very much for stopping by. God bless you. I do appreciate. Now the news is in detail. Sunday Igbo is trying to reap where he did not sow. Gani Adams blows hot. Today on the daily program Morning Show on Arise TV, the Ari Ona Kankafu of the Yoruba land, Otoba Gani Adams blows hot, accuses Sunday Igbo of trying to reap where he did not sow. The word Lord said it is the Oduduwa People's Congress, OPC, that started a fight that Sunday Igbo has now taken the center stage. According to him, he says he has been fighting for the Yoruba cause for more than 28 years. No people should, uh, no, so people should not perceive uh, his silence as an act of uh, cowardness. He also noted that he lost everything he has uh, been fighting for the Yoruba cause at a point in time and he had to start from scratch again in 2008. Also, he maintained that Yoruba people might betray you and he cited the case of uh, Abola. He further start, uh, stated that he was targeted to arrest by the government that is also why he had to uh, lay low. It should be remembered that the main work of the Ari Ona Kankafo, according to history, is to secure the Yoruba land from invaders. And when the fight against the bandits and kidnappers started, many are of the opinion that Otomba Gani Adams should have led the fight against them, but the world lord did not do this. Sunday, it will then seem as the second opinion available to the people. And according to Ibu, he said he was called by the community heads in Iganka. Now that Sunday Igbo has obtained the height of a savior in his people's eye, the area honor can for six the activist is trying to reap where he did not so. So my people <laughs> What do you think about this? Okay, someone said here, yeah, can you see what I have been saying? That these people are not reliable. Instead of you people to join hands to fight your common enemies, you are now vomiting nonsense. You see, this is the problem we black people have. Apart from saying black people, do you know that something like this cannot happen in the northern part of the country? These people they can unite for anything you get it you can never see an a, 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 a northern person coming out on hell to, to say anything against his brother they don't do that but the southerners they are good in that if you can also recall what is happening in the uh, eastern part of the country they are agitating for presidency at the same time they are agitating for biafra even those people agitating for presidency, they are fighting themselves. There is no unity. So, how do you how how do you how do you fight for one goal if you people are not united? You know that is the reason why I said a man's enemy is the is member of his household. I don't know why this always happens. Now he's now fighting. Can we say that he's being envious of uh, Sunday Igbo or what? I don't, I don't get why he, he should be saying this. I believe what he's supposed to do as a world lord is to join hands with Sunday Igbo to fight their common enemies, if actually they have any. Okay, someone said that not in spoil, so or guy, you are very much alive. Start the fight from your end to reap what you sow. Okay, someone said here, yeah, okay. 
Baba Gani, please do not continue with this type of talk to avoid you losing the respect of your highly reserved office as Khan Kafu of Yoruba land. Join hands with your brother instead. Settle any personal rift between you two and fight for common purpose. That is how it's supposed to be. Okay, someone said, yeah, Gani is a toothless bulldog. All right, someone said, when you are dining with the people, the people power, who do you help? Your boys and you are busy collecting money from the government to save to save guide the oil pipeline. Have you forgotten that you collected 10 billion naira from the government? That is why Obasanjo is not happy with you. Please leave this man alone to fight for our liberation. He is not asking for government money like you. Please, we beg you to leave him alone. Okay, someone said, yeah. Hmm. Gani, you have forgotten so fast how you reduce our people. May God set you for this. And if you try to fight Sunday, you will see the hands of God upon you. You see, you can see that the Yorubas are not happy about this. All they are saying is Gani supposed to, you know, be with your brother, discuss with your brother. And, you know, fight for one purpose, not criticizing, you know, each other. And that is how it's supposed to be. Because when this come up, <laughs> you will go nowhere. You get it. I think they used to say that a house is, a, the house that is divided can never stand. You get it. I don't think this is the best time for uh, uh, Chief Ghani to give Chief uh, Ghani Adams to bring up uh, something like this. Okay, someone said, yeah, hatred is small in the home. It's not too late for for the for them to take the lead in the honorable fight to flush out hessmen from the Yoruba land. So hello guys, let me not bother you that much. I'm gonna drop it here for now. Let's hear from you. What's your view on this? Leave your opinion below the comment section. Thank you very much for this uh coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.